Hello, 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 welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to the beginning of my short games for May. Um, in case you haven't watched the video where I explained it, this is basically where I am just playing games that are 10 hours or less, and that will run throughout the whole month of May and today we are starting with a game called Botany Manor. Um, it seems like a good little puzzle game so let's get stuck in. Well before we do that. Uh, audio, uh, language, making short motion sickness. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so... Starting in a game where we set your current progress, are you sure you want to proceed? Yes, because I haven't started the game yet. Eighteen ninety, Botany Manor in a Somerset. Oh, and we start straight off. Um, does it seem like there's anything I can click on yet? Oh, there's something shining over there. Arabella Green, Botany Manor, Somerset. Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your book proposal for Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you have completed your research and we'll be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Oh, we've got maps, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, chapter five. Oh, we got no maps. And nothing in there, so that seems like that is the aim. Is that the letter of oh. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at Botany Manor. Hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor have deteriorated. Though I can assure you we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today. Bennett. Oh, that's not good enough Bennett, is it really? I guess. Chapter 1, a fresh start. Uh, collect seeds. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Potting instructions. Place pot on saucer. Add soil. Plant the seed. Water the seed. Oh, we've got one already here. No. Oh. Oh, do I have to... Do I have to have this one? No. I wanted this one. Or is that just empty in it? Let's scoop some soil. Oh, there we go. Uh, seeds. Bloop. Water. And there we go. Can't pick it up. Oh, 
Okay. A postcard for Marianne. Let me because I can't really read that properly. Do as Arabella. On my hike, I came across the windmill wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me the flower buds ha has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory, your friend and Pia, Marianne. Okay. Important clues get added to the herbarium where you can assign them to plants. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help you organise and validate your research. Right. Um, what volcanic flower? Checkered lily, meadow flower, sword lily, woodland flower, daffodil, grassland flower. Yeah, right, so it's a volcanic flower. Where did it grow again? Can't click, can't click on it then. Uh, it only grows in Sicily. So it's a volcanic flower in Sicily, which means it needs to be 60 degrees. Which means we need to. First one, first flower in the bag. Um, I'll just pop that there. Uh, does this mean I need? Guess we'll go out and have a. Have a wonder. Drawing from nature. A book. Nope. Put that down because that doesn't do anything. Maps are not that fantastic. Uh, there's some stuff here. What's going on here? Oh, we can see the manor through there. <laughs> Guess we just just have a wonder. Oh, we have a key. For the entrance garden, which is number three, which is the one by the... I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries in the gatehouse and ring the bell. Oh, 
Or is there like an easier way to bring the map, the map up? I mean, it doesn't exactly show you where you are, does it? So we're at the gate, I just need to go up and to the left. Which I'm guessing is this. There's loads of places to explore. What's through here? More? My dear friend, good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the truth will suffice when we next meet. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining, in examining plates, you take the authority of others. Whereas in botany, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see for ourselves. When I must travel and see some interesting specimens for yourself, I'm inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Eleanor. Uh, walking stick. Okay. Uh. Oh no, we didn't. I don't want to sit down. Oh, take a break. Sit down on a seat. <gasps> Orchard. Oh, can't go through there. <laughs> Shake a locked door. Here we go, there's another place. My dear Sarabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city working on your ambitions both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring too. Me. I never imagined all those years ago we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavours. I look forward to hearing about your progress and that, of course, let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your living sister, Elizabeth. Two survivors of adversity. Hmm. Great rest of the world. Taunton to London Paddington. The swim flashed loads of stuff flashing over here. Oh, I need a seed. Fulgaria. Photograph. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. Picture looks a little blurry though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. Okay. That is way too dark. <gasps> Perfect. I'm very pleased with this picture. Looks like I'm getting the hang of the camera. Let's just see. Lady Arabella Green, I'm pleased to let you know that your family tree is complete. Carefully tracing the history of your lineage. As per your request, I have altered the customary presentation, now displaying the maiden names of the ladies in your family rather than their current names acquired through marriage. Should you require any further adjustments or have additional inquiries, I remain at your service. Yours, Robert Hinchley, genealogist. Oh, 
That one's definitely locked. Five potential. Uh, despite the humans, meanwhile, certain species in the plant kingdom evolved to adapt and flourish in the face of fire. Pyrophiles have learned to rely on fire as a crucial part of their life cycle. The seeds typically possess tough shells, so pyrophiles only bloom when surrounded by smoke aromas from their natural habitat. So there we go, we've got a fair few clues. Lots locked. Hmm. So obviously there's something we're gonna make in here. The art of painting. So, my Celtic tribes practice coming of age, which has meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves where they stand in the tribe. One of the rituals involved picking a flower in the woods, though not just any flower, of course. The gatherer had to find a fulguria. For this flower is known to bloom out during thunderstorms. Keeping a cool head while lightning flashing strikes left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Picture of myself and my sister. Key to the back terrace. Lady Arabella, these past weeks I have been seeing a lot of black, bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit. And if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. A minimum, a Farmer Charles. What's this? F flash powder. Oh, so maybe we have to put the plant there. That's one for the thunderstorms, isn't it? Uh, glasses? Spectacles! Fill the container with flash play powder, close the container, press the button, connect it to the camera and the lumen flash lamp witness a bright flash. But... Yeah, because I forget it when I was quite a terrible thunderstorm. So yeah, so letter from farmer, flash powder bottle. Flash lamp menu. I kinda look at the Oh, there we go. So, let's go make a plant. Soil, Fulgaria, water. Take the plant with us. Did it say this? Didn't it say this is the one where? Did it need fire? Mm. But it needs to go in this pot. 
needs to go there. And we need to mix. Right. Fill the container with flash powder. Was the powder in this room? Is there a way to make flash powder? Is that something that I missed? Oh, uh, there we go. Two potassium to one magnesium. We didn't look at that properly, did we? And that shall be the end of this first episode. Next time we need to go to the back terrace because we have a key. And uh, we've got, I think, what, three more plants to go. Um, this seems to be maybe a bit shorter than I thought it was going to be, but that doesn't matter. But I hope you have enjoyed this. If you have, then please... Um, like, comment if you have, uh, subscribe to my channel, um, ring the notification bell so you get more, so you get the notifications for when more of, of my short games month videos come out, and I shall catch you guys again in the next video. Um, have a good day, have a good afternoon, have a good evening, or have a good night, and I shall see you guys again later. See you later, bye bye.